what is the difference between an ablative and non-ablative resurfacing laser? So that's a very good question. And I'm gonna just try to cover this in a simple way as, as I can. So laser resurfacing comes under two categories, ablative and non-ablative lasers. Um, they are really different in the way they produce a final outcome or the final outcome they produce. So ablative lasers, and basically the two most common ablative lasers are the CO2 laser and the erbium laser. They work by vaporizing the outer layers of the skin primarily. Okay, that's how they resurface the skin. And this process then stimulates the skin to heal and restructure and increases collagen production over time. So they're the best ones at treating the visible signs of aging and the results generally last for anywhere from one to 10 years. So they're very, very effective. Um, but the trade-off here is that the downtime is relatively high. So it can be anywhere, anywhere from a week or two weeks up to a month or a few months um, of letting the skin kind of recover. And there is a higher risk of infection, pigmentation, redness um, with an ablative laser like a CO2 or an erbium. Now, the other useful thing about an ablative laser is that they can also be used to treat um, scarring, acne scarring, um, and lesions on the skin like actinic keratosis. So ablative lasers are really the gold standard for resurfacing and do the best job, but the trade-off is a bit of downtime and a slightly higher risk of complications. Non-ablative lasers, um, there are things like the Cool Touch, uh, Fraxel Restore, Enlight. They're a lot less invasive. They do not um, vaporize the top layer of the skin. They work by heating up the underlying tissue of the skin and they do not destroy it or destroy any tissue at all. So what it's meant to do is it's meant to stimulate um, the body's collagen production to then kind of help improve the appearance of fine lines, for example. Now, for modest results, even for modest results, you need multiple treatments of a non-ablative laser to get even moderate improvement. So it can be not very cost effective. You're not gonna get a dramatic change in the appearance of the skin by using a non-ablative laser. You'll get a mild to moderate improvement over time with continued treatment. Um, but of course, there's no downtime when you have these treatments and the risks are um, very, very minimal, though you still can get a bit of redness, you can still have a risk of infection, there's still a risk of pigmentation and color change. So bottom line is, if you're looking to properly resurface your skin, you're probably best off using a, an ablative laser, probably a fractionated ablative laser, and looking for an erbium or, or a CO2 laser to really give you a long-lasting dramatic improvement in your skin um, if you're trying to treat certain skin problems like acne scarring, pigmentation, fine lines, and so on. So I would err on the side of using an ablative uh, resurfacing laser as opposed to a non-ablative laser. But again, this comes down to personal choice and your own skin problems or what you're hoping to achieve.